the bank's music venue is now scheduled to move forward on time. Tonight, we learned the city and county have reached an agreement allowing construction to begin later this month. Nine Hundred Sides' Kristen Swilly joins us live from the banks with reaction from businesses. Kristen? Yeah, good evening, guys. We have learned that after months of back and forth, the city and the county have reached an agreement, at least for now, in order for this Banks Music Venue project to move forward. And that is big news for people who are banking on this venue's success. We're all very happy. It's been uh, in the mix for a long time. Music to their ears. Those who make their living on the banks are pleased to see plans for this new multi-million dollar venue hit a high note. I think this will uh, kind of stimulate our slower season a lot better. And, you know, it's just going to add something to the mix, you know, I mean, can't always have sports. It'd be nice to have some music venues here. It's great news. I mean, we're, we're totally 100% behind it. Both Danny Krisnewick and Nick Ramsey have been with their respective bars since the first pour. They both worried about the possibility of losing some residential zoning at the city's request, a proposal that's been dropped in exchange for two parcels of land closest to the Bengal Stadium for the county to develop. When OTR grew up, that's where, you know, they started realizing there was a need for more residential. That became a priority and you saw how that's worked out. After a tense meeting with the City Planning Commission just last week, resolution. This last minute agreement allows construction to move forward November 14th. That's huge. I mean, it's this area is just becoming such a great place to live and stay. It's, you know, a pinnacle spot for Cincinnati right now. So take advantage of it. Now that music venue is scheduled to open November of 2020. Reporting live at the banks this evening, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.